Captain Skidmore, AGS. So today we're gonna do all the sexy hotkey stuff that I promised in the first video. And so we're gonna cover today our hotkeys for each screen, um, how to return to each subsystem menu from anywhere in EDAS, uh, how to copy and paste in EDAS. I repeat, yes, you can copy and paste in EDAS. And um, we're gonna go over a quick logout and I'm gonna show you again that F1 usage for help screen, okay? so. The first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you out of this main menu and show you how to navigate in the system. So we are going to go from uh, inner option desired, I'd like you to place an A and then press enter. You're in the assignment subsystem menu. From now on, every single hotkey for the assignment subsystem menu is gonna begin with A and end with Q or S. Everyone see that? I'd like to go back, press F3. You're now in the main menu again. The same can be said for all of these. So M, press an M here, press enter. This is going to be MM, MO, MQ, press F3. Um, for organization subsystem, it's really easy because there's only one screen. So press O and it's gonna take you directly to OQ. Press F3. The personnel subsystem, press P, and every hotkey for the personnel subsystem menu is going to be PC, PD, PE, and so on and so forth. Please press F3, and now you're in requisition. Put an R here, press enter. And now, your everything for the requisition subsystem menu is gonna be RC, RH, RM, RP, RQ, and so on. Well, where do you enter all that data? I'm glad you asked. Press F3, and now you're gonna utilize the right-hand side of your screen. This entire video, I'm just gonna be navigating using where next. So that means you really need to pay attention to the last things I just said. We're gonna to move to assignment first. I'm gonna press A and one and press enter. Everybody see that? Let me do it again. F3, and then where next, place your cursor there and type in alpha, which is this letter, and one. Anytime you type in the letter associated with the subsystem and the number one, you will return to the assignment subsystem menu or subsystem menu for whatever screen you're trying to be in, okay? So uh, a great way to show you that is A1 and P1, see? Or uh, R1, oh, excuse me. Plus your clear screen, clear your options here, go to where next put an R and a one, press enter, see? Or come here and um, let's do M1, our management information subsystem. So M and one, press enter. Everyone got it? Great. Remember, your help screen or your EDAS Google is HK. Place your cursor where, where next is, type in HK, press enter. You're now at EDAS Google. So these are the hot, keys that we're gonna to use to navigate. What does that mean? That means from HK, where I went to look up whatever data that I was trying to look up, I can very easily go to AQ and press enter. And now I'm on the assignment query selection screen. Um, I can leave AQ and go to AS, which is the assignment special instructions query record selection screen. Everyone see what I'm doing here? You don't have to return to the main menu every time you wanna see a different screen. I can type in MM and press enter, and here I am at the uh, statistics MOS uh, summary query screen. Remember, total army data, right? <laughs> okay, so now that we've covered the hotkeys for each screen and how to return to subsystem menus for each screen, I'd like to introduce this to you. Copy and paste. Where is this most useful? I'll show you. So say I wanted to search for a red cat and I need the field value for those red cats. Well, I need to go to HK, right? Eat, ask Google. Press enter. I come to the bottom half of this screen, right? Because I know my screen name, but I have no idea what my keywords could be. So I'm just gonna put my uh, backslash in and press enter. These are all the possible field values for Red Cat. 
or racial ethnic descent category. Now that I'm here, I can simply copy this, right click, copy, go to where next, type in MM, press enter, I'm back at the screen, place my cursor on the line, right click, and press paste. And there it is. And then I can press enter to run my query. Another great way um, that copy and paste comes in handy are for long numbers. Say we're in the uh, PQ screen, press enter. And say that we would like a requisition number um, for an individual. Um, you can either run this in PQ or run this in AQ or run a query of sorts. And then you could would be given the requisition number and you can copy and paste that requisition number anywhere. Um, a great example of that maybe is this. So uh, we come to RQ and we enter the following requisition number. Enter, um, oh, I'm sorry, not RQ, excuse me, AQ, press enter. Requisition number is 5S2012 uh, and 03010. Uh, Who wants to write that again? So don't. Highlight it, right click, copy it. Now you have that rec, press enter. Press enter again. This is all that information for that person, right? You can over here on the cursor, press Y, press enter. This is all the information for Brian Levine and his current requisition uh, for his next assignment. You can copy and paste any information on this screen into another screen. I'll show you that again. So go to AQ, press enter, and I will simply go place my cursor on the line, right click and paste. See, press enter. I'm back at Brian Levine's record. Put a Y under DTL, press enter, and there you go. I'm also gonna go over your F1 or help key. So we're gonna run a query in MM. So please go to where next, type in MM and press enter. We're gonna run the following query. Um, 42 Alpha, 42 Romeo, where P-M-O-S-E-N is, and we're gonna search the following skill levels, three, four, and five, and that's all. Now, I'm gonna run this query, and then I'm gonna show you the F1 key again. So again, we ran this query for statistics, right? For um, management information and now we're looking at the total army strength for the criteria that we set criteria that's listed in the top left corner of your screen remember all of this all of this data is broken down by month and year as stated right here all the white text at the top so if you'd like to know what the screen names or report names mean on this left hand side you're gonna press F1 Press F1 and they are listed right here. So no more guessing. Again, this only works when you run a query. So please press F3. Press F3 again. Okay, I'd like to do the same thing in MQ and show you what that looks like. We're gonna enter the following data. Let's assume that we're running this for uh, a series of DMSLs in the 82nd. So 182, 282, 382, okay? And the criteria I'd like to search for is 11 Bravos, and I'd like to only look at pay grades five, six, and seven. And let's say I wanna see this for the quarter. So I want October, November, and December. Please press X's or place pe X's under those months. Now I'm gonna run this query, so press enter. And please press enter on the management data display. Okay. 
Go back one. Go to F3. I'm sorry. Remember what I said about writing these report types down? I would write down Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and Echo and what they mean. Press Enter. I'm in the management data display for the criteria that I selected. If I'd like to see what these screen names mean, I press F1 now. And then press Enter. Here in the middle is listed what the definitions of those screen names mean. Please press F3. Now, something else I'd like to point out is the memorization of the report types, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and Echo. If you go to select new report type, you never have to re report or F3 back to the selection screen. If you memorize these reports, you can simply enter Bravo and press enter and get strength detail for the same set of criteria. Remember, this section of the EDAS instruction is all about working smarter, not harder. If you press F1 now, you're going to get all the detail report data, press enter, and you'll see all of the screen names spelled out for you. Both, both sides of the screen, so the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen, current month, all months. Press F3, and here you are, the strength detail report again. Again, memorize the reports. Say I want to see a Charlie report. I press enter after I enter C there on that line. And now I'm in the authorization detail. Again, if I don't understand what these screen names mean, I press F1. I press enter. And here they are listed again in detail. Press F3. Press F3 again. Press F3 again. Now we're going to talk about how to log out of EDAS really quickly. There's a couple of different ways to do it, but I've always found the easiest way is to press F10. You're now at the EDAS session ended screen. You are signing out of EDAS. Simply type in log off, press enter. You're going to come back here, and if you'll see, this is the command to exit. Just simply find your cursor, the symbol, and K, and press enter. And now you can close all sessions here. And that concludes your hotkey EDAS sexy lesson.